They fly where American fighter jets do not. Norway's aging F-16s on 15-minute alert 24-7 above the Arctic Circle. The front line for the U.S. and NATO. Pilots scramble each and every time Russian military planes are detected. NBC News was given a rare look at the videos they bring back. Nuclear-capable Russian aircraft flying in international airspace up and down the Norwegian coast. Norway shares a 120-mile border with its neighbor, Russia. Most of the encounters in the air, mainly on their west coast, are routine. But the Russians are sometimes aggressive, flying simulated attacks against Norwegian exercises. What is that like to come up behind one of their aircraft? It is uh, exciting to, to, especially at night, to fly out there and identify Russian aircraft flying along the Norwegian border or along the Norwegian coast. Major General Lars Amat tracks the Russians from deep inside his underground command center. As the Arctic melts, Russia is flooding the region with military and economic resources, signaling the top of the world may become the next big strategic battleground with the West. I think they're sending strategic messages that they are present, but also that this area is of their strategic interest. The pilots who fly these F-16s call themselves the Guardians of the North. But some of their planes are 40 years old without any stealth capability. Well, on certain days, there have been uh, numerous uh, scrambles from our base where we've been up with our uh, quick reaction alert to identify the aircrafts. The recent trend is that the exercises are somewhat larger, simultaneously have more uh, surface vessels and also uh, military aircraft in the same area uh, at the same time. Ine Eriksson Serede, Norway's foreign minister, says Russia is re-adopting a Cold War tempo. They're doing more large-scale exercises. They are exercising uh, to some extent also um, attack patterns. And many of these activities are activities we haven't seen since the mid-80s. Having said that, we do not see it as a direct threat towards Norway or towards us. But it's a difference in the way Russia is now conducting themselves more forward-leaning, more assertive foreign policy that, of course, has some strategic consequences, first and foremost, for NATO itself. Norway, a key NATO ally, may not be capable of stopping the Russians, but they are the first to spot them. And they're spotting them with increased regularity. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.